just dip it. Oops. Very presentable. <laughs> Hey guys. guys! So we're here in New York City, close to the Times Square area on 6th Avenue between 46th and 47th Street. And today we're going to try a really cool concept. We have Deep Indian Kitchen right behind us. It's formerly known as Indie Kitch. The easiest way to explain what this place is all about is imagine Chipotle but with Indian food. So I think for most viewers, if you've had Chipotle, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna show you what it's all about. I believe they're only in New York City. Hopefully one day we would see them in our neck of the woods in Texas or around the country. But for now, when you're in New York City, come check this place out, Deep Indian Kitchen, formerly known as Indie Kitchen. Let's go and check it out. All right, so they have these touchscreen menus here. So if we do signature meals, they have the live fire feast, a traditional Indian meal is typically comprised of several. So you can choose it with chicken tikka, chicken kofta, paneer, chana masala, and impossible kofta. So it's meatless or eggplant. Okay, and then you can choose your spice level as is one, two, and three. Biryani. Okay, they have chicken tikka, paneer, chicken kofta, impossible, piccati rolls, two prata bread filled with main sauteed with tandoori spices. Same thing. Okay, dosa. They have dosas. So this is like the rice lentil crepe style. It's more southern Indian. Okay, and then the live fire salad. Bowl of romaine lettuce, red cabbage, cilantro, zesty lemon yogurt, dressing, and fresh mint with choice of main. Sauteed with pickles, onions, tawa spices, coconut, and coriander pestos. So you can get a salad. And then they have samosa, samosa chaat, mulinga tani soup, naan, chutney, raita that's like yogurt with veggies extra main rice dal and kachimber it's like a cucumber salad and then you can get lassi mango lassi turmeric iced tea with honey oh, blood orange lemonade so that's everything so the biryani dosa samosa chaat your ginger lemonade kati rolls live fire feast chai and one diet coke good yeah. So I have the live fire feast right here. Comes with a saffron rice. I chose chickpeas, cucumber salad, and then this is a chicken in a um, sog paneer kind of uh, sauce. So it looks like a chipotle burrito bowl. I love the concept. You know, their cutlery, their napkins, the plate, the trays here. You know, Chipotle is a very efficient place to get food. So this is nice to see that there's an Indian fast food option very similar to Chipotle. So we got the chicken here. You can see there. It's very refreshing. It's like get some tomatoes. Felt like I tasted a cucumber there. Well, this one has a little kick to it too. So I like that. And then we have the chickpeas here. Oh, it's getting spicy. Chickpeas are outstanding. The taste of everything here is really on point, I must say. It's not watered down. And we have the rice right here, saffron rice. It's like biryani rice. And then to cool your mouth down, because it is a little spicy, you got some cucumber salad with tomatoes. Mellows it down. <laughs> this is really good too. And I forgot it does come with your choice of naan. They had a whole wheat naan, but I wanted garlic. So I'll just break a piece off here and just dip it. Really good bread. Okay, so I have the biryani right here. Biryani with paneer. They also had an impossible option, but unfortunately it was not available at this time, but I bet it's an awesome option as well. So it comes in this nice little bowl here and on a little platter. And there's also like a garlic naan package right here. I will grab a nice big piece of paneer and some rice like an explosion of flavors in my mouth really good what is really interesting is that they put a lot of like different like they put tomatoes they put onions so there's a lot of stuff in here which is really nice and it tastes really good it tastes fresh 
I expected it to be a little bit spicier. I chose the medium one. Next time I'll go with the highest level of spiciness. In it. All right, so I have the kati rolls here. This is like a prata taco. And inside, as you can see there, there is paneer. So Sandy can try one. Oof, that looks really good. Okay, so like a taco, just give it a nice fold like that and just dig in. Mmm. It's like a mix between prata and puri. But it is good. I like the concept. They use a lot of yogurt flavor here, so you definitely will taste that. However, when you cook it with the spices, even if you're not a fan of yogurt, you'll enjoy this one. It kind of mellows it out um, and it also helps with the spice. I did medium spice. I'd probably go up to the third one knowing um, this is probably not as spicy as I'd like it. Keep that in mind when you're ordering that you want to get probably a little spicier if you like a little kick to it. But this is an awesome one. I love how they made it a taco. Looks like Chipotle, <laughs> if you ask me. Mm. And then to wash it down, I got a nice cup of chai here. Mm. It already does have sugar inside, and then I think if you want more, you can add it to it, but that'll give you a nice pick-me-up after you've been walking outside in New York City all day. So I was very happy to see that they had uh, samosa chaat here as well. It's one of my favorite Indian dishes, and it looks really good. I mean, again, for like a fast food version, of Indian food, it's, it looks very presentable. You can also see they put a lot of spices, they put some like the typical samosa chaat spices on top. Let's try it out. Mm. Mm. This is actually pretty spicy for like the medium level. I think I will need a drink after that. And what is also interesting, this is like a, a trial version of um, samosa chaat. I'm more used to having it like very moist, but this, like the samosas are still kind of crispy on the outside and you have only have a little bit of moisture in it. Very interesting, but it tastes good. And like I said, it's really spicy. Hey guys. So we just finished here at Deep Indian Kitchen and I really liked it. It's a really cool concept and um, how did you like it? I, I enjoyed it as well. I would say um, the concept is really cool. It's similar to a Chipotle like we've said, yeah. which I love. You know, I think that's a really cool concept. Yeah, we don't see for, that yeah, for a Indian lot. Food, no, no, never. never seen that before. You know, and then it's kind of fast food. I will say one of the things I didn't really like was eating there. Um, I think the seating upstairs is um, similar to Chipotle, to be honest, and I'm not a big fan of eating yeah. at Chipotle. No. I usually take it to go, yeah. right? It's more, it's a takeout place. It is. Yeah, I always. think if you take it to go and, and eat it at home or yeah. find a place maybe, you know, in, in uh, this is Times Square, you yeah. know, you got different places you can take your food and enjoy it. Yeah. The spice level too, right? The spice it's... level was for me like very inconsistent. Yes. Like one dish I ordered was like super spicy. My mouth was on fire and the other one I it was not spicy at all. Right. And both I ordered medium, so yep. I don't know. So adjust as necessary, <laughs> you know, be careful. And it's a delayed spice, um, like we said earlier. Take a bite and it doesn't really hit hard until 10 minutes later and you're really thirsty. So yeah. make sure that you keep that in mind. With that said, you know, this is a great concept to come try if you haven't had it before. If you yeah. like Chipotle, they have some really good food that's similar in, in the style, but Indian food. And um, one thing I would say I also would like to see is more of an open space and more direction because when you come in, you really don't know what to do if you've never been there before. That's true. Yeah, we were a yeah. little bit lost in the beginning. That was like the only thing, ago. you know, other than that, the food tasted good otherwise, the you know. Food so is, yeah, it, it is really good. The flavor is amazing. Yeah. yeah, like an Indian fast food, it's on point. They really do a good job and hit the mark on Indian yeah. food. So Definitely, I would have it again. Come try it out. Yeah. If you're in New York City, there's a few locations and maybe there's some that are going to open up outside of New York City. So you'll be able to try one maybe one day in Houston. That would be maybe, cool. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. 
share it with a friend, drop a comment, let us know if you've had Indie Kitchen before or Deep Indian Kitchen as it's called now. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.